Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Today I'm going to show you how you can map out and plan your funnels before actually creating them using a free service called Funnelytics. They also offer some paid options, but you most likely will not need them. If you want to skip ahead because you don't want to bother walking through the tutorial, the link is in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget while watching this video, if you learn anything from it, take anything positive away from it, give it a thumbs up so other people know the content is valuable. And also don't forget to subscribe to your channel, uh, to my channel, if you haven't already by clicking on the YouTube icon in the right corner. Um, so you don't miss out any future videos. That said, we're going to switch to my MacBook. And there we are with Funnelytics. Now, Funnelytics, again, has paid in free plans. You mostly will only need the free plan. What you can do here, you can create new projects. You don't need to, but it's useful to structure your funnels. And I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it like a test. And within that project, then we can now create a new funnel and we call it test funnel. And that's pretty much all there is to get started. Um, and from there, it's very straightforward. Uh, it's structured, you have your navigation on the left with all the elements that you need. So you basically start building your funnel and your regular funnel would probably start with an opt-in page, which you can then drag in and it may be followed by a sales page and then by an order page and there may be an upsell page somewhere. Uh, where do we have it? There, somewhere it is. Um, opt in order page generic sales page sales video survey out oh, there upsell yeah missed it um, and then we may have a downsell which there is no page for it but you can just use the upsell and then we may have yeah, for to make it a little bit more complicated we say we have a second downsell if people don't buy yeah and after that we obviously have a thank you page a order confirmation page so now you see it creates arrows by default, but you can just delete them very easily and then you can connect things. Um, I'm going to remove the arrows for now um, to show you a little bit more. So we start with the opt-in page and then we also have actions and we could say like the action is complete form. So we drag it there. It automatically connects it. And now from let's just move those a little bit and from the connect uh, complete form, we can draw a line from from to the sales page. So only people that complete the form will actually go to the sales page. Now we can click up here and draw an additional line. But before we do that, we go to traffic, for example, and pick the email icon. And now we click up here to get the dotted line and just uh, up, draw it down there. So yeah, like stop this. Uh, we don't need that. So then you need to click again to disable it. So this way we indicate, okay, we have an opt-in page our squeeze page, then we have our, when they complete the form, what happens is they go to the sales page, but they also, um, whatever, like email list, for example. Yeah, so test. So they opt into the email list. And for each element, you can write descriptions here in app media. So you can already like uh, outline what, would, what will be on this page. Now from the sales page, there's not much they can do. They go straight, there's like no action, there's only a button. So they go to the order page. Now, and on the order page, we can use our actions again and can say, for example, not add to cart, but when they purchase something. So we connect the order page with the purchase element. We connect purchase element with the upsell element. And now it could be that you say you have a separate email list for buyers. So you can go here and just copy the email element. Yeah. And we call it like email list buyers. And uh, I cannot copy this, but we just draw a new line down here and we disable that again. So we say buyers are automatically opt in. Then we have the upsell. We rename this one and say downsell. And then we rename the second one. As we said, we have two downsells. Yeah. And then we have our thank you page, which is our order confirmation page. So again, we say when people purchase, um, we connect the upsell or uh, yeah, the first upsell with the, yeah, the wrong order. No, it's right with the purchase event. And from the purchase event, it actually goes straight to the thank you page because they bought our upsell. Now we just use a generic event and call the rename it to, for example, didn't buy. And we connect the upsell to that event saying like, okay, if they didn't buy, 
um, it actually goes to the down sell. Now we copy that generic event and put it in between here as well. And we say if they didn't buy that down sell, it goes to the second down sell. And there in both cases, it will anyway, if they buy the second down sell or not, it will go to the thank you page. Now uh, we can also say, okay, behind that we have a members area. Yeah. So there should be, if I'm not mistaken, pop up, thank you, members area. Yeah. So from the thank you page, they will go to the members area. Now you could even um, draw it a little bit further and say from that buyer's email, it will also go to that members area and from the email test, maybe, maybe you give a free PDF away. So I'm not sure if I can draw it that far. Yeah. Um, it also goes to the members area because, uh, and then we have the stuff here, not offline, but somewhere. Um, actions, traffic, there somewhere in here, you, oh, there we have it, PDF, yeah. So we can say like a uh, free guide or whatever we give away on the squeeze page. And um, maybe maybe we, we sell a, a book or some course or something, and then we sell like a paid course, yeah. So we basically outline that, that's in the members area. And then we could go and use the traffic element as well and say like, okay, we also have like Facebook here and say Facebook group. So we would then link the members area with those elements and say to indicate what they get or can get from this members area. And now all that's left is to bring it in a right structure, which for the start, we would, for example, just mark the whole row here. And then you can use like that thing to center it. So you see now everything is like centered. We're gonna drag it a little bit so we have a little bit more space. Now I can basically just mark those two things and also like arrange them properly. Yeah. And then the same we wanna do here with the buyer's email. Um, yeah, that one we wanna have like with that purchase event. Only if you wanna really need, uh, have it really neat looking. Yeah. So we do the same here. And then here we pretty much are going to move that stuff upwards and also arrange it that it's on a line. And we're gonna move the thank you page and this one also upwards. And then, um, yeah, probably uh, try to get it right with that first element. Now everything jumped up, uh, I'm gonna manually adjust this one. And we're gonna put the member, actually I'm gonna move the thank you page. So this is also straight, yeah, like OCD. Um, and we're gonna move the members area down here. So, and we're gonna align those three elements properly at the top and put them here, yeah. So now um, when we, we cannot zoom out here, oh, there is actually a zoom, I forgot, yeah. When we zoom out, we have our whole funnel mapped out in no time at all. We could then here say additionally, they get add to an upsell email list and stuff like that. You could also indicate and say like, okay, uh, that's Facebook where I'm gonna run advertising to my opt-in page. We're also gonna run um, an Instagram campaign to the opt-in page, uh, which means we don't need that arrow and so on. So it basically allows you real quick to map out a, a full funnel and within the project, you can create multiple funnels, which means you can map out your whole value ladder, yeah? There is an analyze feature, but that's in pro. Um, it's not really that useful to be honest, because what it does is like, you basically can enter your values and it will tell you like how much money you get out in the end. But if you can just, you know, like you can use a, an Excel, a Google sheet or something like that to do the same. You don't need to pay that for that service. But you see the free service alone already helps very much. The paid service would have the benefit that you can use collaborations if you work with a team or something. Yeah, so that's a great benefit and um, some other stuff. But again, like I'm not focusing on that. It's really about like how to get things mapped out. What you can do now is you can save that funnel, of course. And once it's saved, dum, 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 dum. so once it's saved, yeah, funnel saved, perfect. You can export this as PNG. It will take a little moment and then eventually it will trigger download and you will have a transparent image of your funnel mapped out which you can share for example with your designer or with whatever or with whatever person you're collaborating um, maybe you create funnels for clients this way you can highlight the way it's going to look like and again if you have like the paid account with collaboration 
you could actually um, use it and then like for the opt-in page, like just write what should be there and point out like um, what the client needs to provide you with for this page and for that page and so on. And you could then also like use it to highlight what's already done, you know, like by just adding the link um, here saying, yeah, it's, that, it's done. And um, here's the link so you can check it out, dear client. So that's pretty much it. But you see, um, it's a very powerful tool. It's very simple, but it's very powerful because before creating that funnel, you could actually then just print it and put it next to your screen. And therefore, um, actually have a bigger, a better overview about what it is that's still missing. Yeah. Okay. I still need to create that email list or maybe you can, you can even, you know, like theoretically you could even draw the email icon for each of your follow-up emails that you plan to write and then like check them off in terms of like, no, okay. I still need to write that email sequence. So it's really a powerful tool. It's, um, yeah, for our, all the funnel hackers out there. Actually, it's a must have, to be honest, um, along with the Funnel Hackers Cookbook, the official cookbook from ClickFunnels, which basically um, goes more into each of those funnel steps and shows you how they should look like, what's their purpose or what they're usually used for in which industry. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that's the way how you can map out your funnels real quick, including your traffic strategies. Uh, you could also use the Facebook icon um, and just rename it like in, face in retargeting, for example, to highlight um, for which of your steps you will run retargeting campaigns. Um, so it really, really, yeah, it's the best way to, to visualize your funnel real, real quick. Instead of just drawing it out manually, you can just use the editor and you see like this video is now 12 minutes long and basically in under 10 minutes, you can map out your whole funnel so that everybody will understand it. If you share this with somebody and then you mention on the opt-in page, I want to have this on the sales page, I want to have that then it will be clear how the whole flow will be. So it's really, really a great tool to have. So check out the links in the description below. I will link to the Funnel Hackers cookbook. You can download the PDF version for free or you can order the printed version with um, just paying the shipping fee. Um, I recommend the printed version. I'm already like quite good with funnels as you may know, um, but I still, every time I build a funnel, if I build the opt-in page, I actually open the opt-in page section here. So I know which section of funnel scripts I should use and so on. Um, so it's yeah, like a must have to be honest. Plus you'll also find the link to Funnelytics. Um, both are going to be my affiliate links just so to be very clear on that. Meaning like if you buy the printed copy, I will get an astonishing $1 from ClickFunnels. And if you decide to pay for the Funnelytics Pro subscription, I may also, I will also get a compensation. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out future tutorials and videos. And if you learned something or took something away from this video or had an aha moment, maybe give that video a thumbs up so other people know it's great content and feel free to share it on social media with other funnel hackers out there. So again, thanks for watching. See you in one of my next videos. Till then, bye-bye.